Whoa. Have to pull that out. <laughs> Good morning. Rolling the ball around in the hand as I adjust the camera. And roll it up the fingers. And interlace the fingers and compress. This is a new one. And let go. And compress. And let go. Compress. And let's go. Let's just toss it up with one hand and catch it with the other. Three, two, one, no drops today. We have been assessing our feet all along. We know where they're at. Let's drop the ball and press down three times in the middle of the foot. And bring it up to the knuckles and press one. Going across. And hello, Jonathan. And slide it across the knuckles. And bring it down to the top of the heel and pivot on the toes and slide it across the top of the heel. Everybody seems frozen. You're okay? Good, okay. I guess Jonathan, you're, you look frozen. And bring it up to under, just below the um, knuckle of the big toe and press down and roll it down to the side of the top of the heel and press down. And then over to the middle of the fifth metatarsal and press down. And then roll it down each of the bones. And Three, two, and one, and reassess. We go to the other foot, pressing down one. Two, three, up to the knuckles. One, two, and slide it across the knuckles. And down to the top of the heel, slide it across the top of the heel, pivoting on the toes. Press down below the first knuckle, side of the top of the heel, middle of the fifth metatarsal, and then roll it down the bone. And scribble.
These new balls are tricky. Three, two, one, let go. Get the ball out of the way, reassess. And let's do some windmills. Wood chops, I'm sorry, wood chops, wood chops. Begins with a W. Right through the middle. Hinging at the hip, knees slightly bent. Over to the right. And to the left. Let's shake the tree or do the limb energy bounce. Oh, a little of both. And three, two, one. Center, two deep breaths. Twist from the waist, swing the arm. And three, two, one, center, two breaths. Let's do some ocean wave breathing. Two breaths. We're rubbing the hands together. Cultivating some chi. And forming that chi ball. Moving the weight from one leg to the other like water flowing. as the chi ball dances us around. And center, two breaths. We're marching in place or jogging. So with 20 seconds left, I'm going to pick up the pace. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can sprint or just go a little bit faster or do something like jumping jacks or side jacks or rapid squats. I think that's what I'll do today. 
I ran this morning and we're going to do some chair yoga later. So I'm going to do some squats in five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. All right, what the heck? <sighs> Two deep breaths. Interlacing the fingers, bring them up over the head, reaching for the sky. Keep doing that or do a back extension if that's good for you. Come back up and to one side and then the other. Crack. Center. Slowly come down, press out of the chest. And down. Let's bring the hands behind the back, interlace. Raise them up. Shoulder blades come together. Up a little more. Hold and down. One arm across the body at the neck, pressing on the elbow. And then the other. One arm above the head, press down on the elbow. And then the other. Now let's do a little thymus thump. Fingers and thumb together, right up around the collarbone. And rotate the neck. In one direction. And then the other. Nod. Go ear to shoulder, both sides. Look over your shoulder. And then the other way. Shrug. And roll the shoulders back. And forward. Hands extended and rotating. And the other direction. Thumbs up and down, up and down, 
up and down, up and down. Let's hinge at the waist, bending over, stretching the hamstrings. Come on up. Onto a side lunge, stretching the inner thigh. And the other way. Front leg in a 90 degree position, back leg straight back, press back on the heel to stretch the calf. If you need to hold on to a chair or the pole, or the stick, or the whatever. Other way. And come up and let's grab that stick. We'll go forward. One, two, four, five, and then the reverse. Laterally. And the other way. Push out. Flop the wrists. Palms up, flop the wrists. Do some curls. Put the stick behind your back in the crook of the arms, elbows, and twist. And do a back extension if you can. Otherwise, keep twisting. If you want, move the stick up a little higher on your back. Changes it a little bit. Bring the stick down to the palms of your hand, still in the back, and raise it out, out behind you. And then bring it up to your neck and either grabbing with your palms or the crook of your elbows. Twist your trunk, leaving your head and hips immobile, facing straight ahead. Take the stick in the palms of your hands and lift it up behind your back and up and down, and up and down, up and down, up and down. Bring it forward. Let's do five lunges up at a 45 degree angle.
and other direction. And five. Good, let's put the stick down in front. And we're gonna do 15 toe raises and heel raises, pausing for about a second. One, one, two, two. Five. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Fourteen. And fifteen. And let's take one leg in the hand. Same hand, grabbing by the toes, stretching the ankle and quad. And then the other. And let's put the stick down and grab a chair. So as I said, I've been working uh, on modifying a chair yoga routine that I came across at uh, verywellfit.com which is a very good site with all sorts of exercises. And um, let's try it out today and see how you like it. First thing is a seated cat cow and you come forward with your hands on your knees and back, forward and back. And we'll do this about, oh, let's do it seven times. So I think that's five. Seven. And then the next move is just um, raising your hands. Straight up. And down, up, and down, up, and down. And that's seven. And then we go face this way. Next, we're going to bring our hands up and then down and try to touch the ground in front of you. Uh, let me see if I go back a little bit. Yeah. And come back up. And if you can't, um, if you got blocks, you could use blocks or maybe some tissue boxes or something. Or you may just be able to get your fingertips there. Five. Six. And seven. Come back up. And we've done variations of this one before, chair pigeon. Um, 
cross your ankle over on top of above your uh, other knee. And you can come forward and press down on the knee. Come back up. Two, opening up those hip flexors. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. And then let's go to the other leg. Four, five, six, and seven. All right, I'm going to turn my chair around. It'll be easier to see this from the side. And I'm going to put my, I'm going to sit sideways. Put my hands on the back of the chair. I mean, you don't have to move your chair. I'm just doing this for um, a little, to illustrate better. And twist. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. And I'm going to reverse. Do the same thing. One, two, And seven. And then the final is a warrior pose. Now they've got three variations on this. I'm just going to do the one today. Let's see uh, how we do with this. So you're sitting sideways again. You're, let's say your right leg is on the inside of the chair. Your left leg goes behind you. Your right leg um, goes out at a 90 degree angle and just lift your hands over your head and let's take three breaths, three deep breaths. And then we'll switch positions. The other leg is on the inside. 90 degrees, the leg goes back, hands over the head, and three breaths. And that's that for today. Um, there's a couple other moves that I may be adding in, but uh, let me know how, how that felt. What I like about the chair stuff is, I mean, it's always good to stay on your, do things on your feet, but you know, the chair stuff, you can do one or two of these moves when you're sitting down uh, watching television or doing dinner and, you know, loosen yourself up. All right. Let's center with two deep breaths. Fingers and thumb together, the base of the spine. Leg comes out and we're gathering in starlight.
Well, if you could hear the accompanying music there, then that was Lily in a good mood. And center, other side. Whoa. Watch out for cats. Two deep breaths. And open our hearts. And send that out. Center. And bring down heavenly chi. Coming down and burning it up from the earth. And aha! Namaste. Lots of yoga, Tai Chi, Chi Yang, a little bit of everything today. So, how are you all? Good? Yeah, I like that with the chair. The chair, yeah. yeah the Good. yoga, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll continue to develop that. Yeah, I like Together. it. You liked it? Good. Don? Yes, I did. Yes, Linda? Not there. Okay. So uh, uh, today's a rolling day. And I know I've got a couple of rolling people here. So um, if you got a tennis ball and a roller, we'll go to the ground. I was going to do hips. Loosen up those hips. You can use. Um, if you've got both rollers, you can use harder soft on the hips. We're going to start with the ball now. And the anterior hip over here, where it is particularly sore, usually. Um, you want to put one leg 
on the floor that would be the leg that you're rolling on or the side that you're rolling on. The other leg, sole of the foot is on the floor. And just move that ball around. It shouldn't be too difficult to find a tender spot there. Right up here at the upper hip, the gluteus medius. And once you find it, Just stay there. You can relieve some of the pressure by pushing up with the leg that is um, uh, or your elbow. And um, We'll hold a couple more seconds and then we're going to flex the leg, but we got to move the cat. Where are you? And then flex the leg in. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the idea. Of course, you might have other. Not a large area, but you might have other areas that are tender and you could always come back to them later. Let's go to the other hip. Same thing. You're blocking, you're blocking the view here. All right. Under the side, roll it around a little, find that spot. Whoa! And lean into it. And hold. And then flex one, two, three, four, and five. Good. And now We'll take the roller and sit on it and get the gluteus maximus. Um, two areas, you know, right in the middle, right in the meaty section of your glutes, you can sit and then roll back towards your spine. Don't hit your spine, don't get to your spine, but just stay on that muscle and roll back and forth slowly, inch per second, keep rolling. And you probably will have more problems finding a tender spot here. But if you do, by all means, rest on it. If not, Go to one side, lean on one side, and try again. And now you probably find something. And stay there for about 20 seconds. And again, yeah, you got one foot, sole of the foot is on the floor, the other's extended, the side that you're leaning on. You could also cross this leg over if you wanted to put more pressure on that spot. And then when the 20 to 30 seconds is up, again, just kick, extend the leg three or four times, rotating that muscle in the other direction than we've been going. And then lean to the other side. Look for a spot. Mine is down near the uh, 
steamer and hold. Breathing into that spot, breathing into it. And then kick. And just give it one more roll. And hopefully your hips are ready to go. Thank, thank you, thank you. Take care, Jonathan, Maureen, take care. Have a good day. I will. I will. Loved all. <laughs>